Hello and welcome to the Football Dudes Extronomical Fantasy Show. He's Dave. I'm Casey. We're the Football Dudes, and it's time to talk a little fantasy. Dave, can you live this fantasy life? Case, it's not reality. It's just <laughs> fantasy. You got that right, my brother. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's let the people know what we do. We run a 12-team uh, league on NFL.com. Non-PPR, no flex, three wides, two running backs, six points for a touchdown by the quarterback as it should be, and only five bench spots. So difficult decisions to be made each and every week. And Dave, tell the people how our waiver wire works. Yeah, the waiver wire is move to last after claim, never reset. So if you, uh, after a successful waiver claim, you're back to the back position last waiver. If you don't take a waiver though, then, uh, and just opt for a free agent and said, you can go up, 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 and then ultimately be at the top. That way, when you want a guy, you got the waiver position, we'll go get him. You like to just sit there at that one spot and hold it. You never I've been hitting on that like one, baby. <laughs> just waiting for something great to happen. When is it coming? <laughs> it's been like two years. To, to, you've been two in that years. Spot. I've been number one, man. <laughs> one of these Very days you're gonna use that pick. Oh man. <laughs> And we're giving you our recommendations off of our list. We're in a very competitive league, and usually there's not a lot of stuff there. So we're going off our list. But, Dave, lots of buys this week, dude. The Bengals, the Browns, the Eagles, and the Rams. So I'm having a feeling there's going to be some quarterbacks on that waiver wire. They got yeah, yeah, not to mention the buys. Like the COVID here, COVID there kind of stuff. I mean, man, we are struggling here. But on the on the waiver wire, we already uh, had Big Ben Stafford Mullins even go, Casey. Ugh. at <laughs> Yeah, at running back, <laughs> Mostert, Zach Moss, Justin Jackson, and Jarek McKinnon. So running back uh, was also pretty popular on the wire this morning. All right, Dave, let's get this thing started. Give the people a quarterback. Yeah, I'm going to go with Derek Carr, Casey. He's going against my Chargers, and I think maybe their, their status as being a crampy defense through the air might be a little exaggerated. But nonetheless, um, I think Carr has been having a phenomenal season. I think one way or another, this game is going to go into some high scoring. And uh, so, uh, you know, like I said, and the Chargers defense has been known to give up a ton of points in the secondary, especially in the second half. Woo! Take a look at Derek Carr. Driving the car, baby. You know where I'm going. I'm going with Kirk Cousins, Dave. You like yeah. that? You like that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Going up against Detroit. They're uh, 21st against opposing quarterbacks. Um, Dalvin Cook gets tackled at the one. He might have a couple throws into the end zone, man. So, uh, Kirk Cousins, you could do worse if you had to while you're right. trying to fill that need on a bye week. All right, Dave, what about running back, brother? <sighs> okay, this is a tough one, Casey. Obviously, we just talked about the run uh, on him in the waiver wires, but I'm going to go with Adrian Peterson. The theory here is he is a starter for Detroit, which they can put up points. They're going against the Vikings, so maybe it'll be a high-scoring game. So maybe Peter Peterson did not have a good week last week, so maybe he's due for a good one. He's due, baby. You know what? I'm going to go with DJ Dallas. Now, you got to watch this to make sure Chris Carson doesn't play this weekend. He hasn't practiced at all this week, so I yeah. think they might be able to sit him. Buffalo's kind of middle of the pack against uh, running backs, and DJ didn't have a lot of yards last week, but he got two scores. So just, yeah. uh, you know, as effective as that offense is, you might be able to score some pay dirt with DJ. Big all right, time, Dave, dude. hit me with a wide receiver, Brian. I'm going to go with Emmanuel Sanders, Casey, for the Saints. You know, he's fresh off that COVID list. I think he was on the COVID and the IR just for safety's sake there. But Thomas, uh, Michael Thomas, has hardly done anything this year. He has practiced a little bit this week. But uh, even that, I don't think I'm expecting anything from him. So they don't got a lot of options uh, to go to there. So I'm sure Sanders being back in the mix, he's going to be heavily targeted and then um you know the tampa bay defense really good against the run so obviously kamara is going to be involved in the passing game but look for breeze to get those short passes out sanders is good in that role yeah dude i'm gonna go with the rookie darnell mooney from the bears um he's not had a lot of production mm. yet but they're going up against those titans who are 31st in the league against opposing receivers and this guy is lightning quick him and Foles just haven't been able to get on the same page I think it's going right. to get there eventually especially with all the uh, attention that Robinson gets so Darnell Mooney might not pay this week but I think he is going to start paying dividends sooner than later mm -hmm.
All right, good question. Well, you know, I got uh, I have had some experience firsthand with both of these guys. I think Hunter Henry started off the season really strong, but has really tapered off and hasn't put up a lot of good numbers lately. Uh, but Hawkinson, um, he was, a, you know, he had some good numbers, then dipped off, but now consistently for a handful of weeks now, really doing a, a pretty good job. Also, overall, are better than Hunter Henry's, and he's going against Minnesota. That defense has shown that um, they are, you know, obviously uh, liable to give up points uh, to the passing game. So there you go. Right on. Hey, if you guys have questions, we have answers. Hit us up on Twitter, Football Dudes LA, or go to Facebook, get it down, and we will try to get to your questions each week. Also, each week, yeah, make right. sure you, you subscribe to the Trend Zone podcast each and every week of the NFL season. We talk the top trending stories, fantasy survivor, and preview some of the best games from the upcoming week. That's the Trend Zone available on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Yeah, or just head on over to footballdudes.com. Check out the Twitter gallery there, loaded with tons of NFL information, going to help you dominate your fantasy league. All right. That's going to do it for the Football Dudes Extronomical Fantasy Show. He's Dave. I'm Casey. May your fantasy and your reality meld into one beautiful football weekend. We'll catch you next time.